Hi, I'm Andy, I work at Edwards Vacuum, and I'm here in our global technology center in the UK to demonstrate that sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. I've got a vacuum pump, a bell jar, an alarm, and a microphone to demonstrate that the sound level will drop in the vacuum. So, let's set up the experiment. I'm going to place our radio microphone into the bell jar and set our alarm. When the alarm goes off, you'll hear it, it'll be very loud. Okay, I think I can just about hear that, but you'll be able to see on your screen a visualization of how loud it is. So, I'm going to suck out the air from this bell jar, close this valve so that the air can't get in, and open this valve to allow our vacuum pump to suck out the air. The air is being sucked out now, and you should see the sound level dropping on the microphone. So you can see our gauge reads zero, and also the levels on the microphone have completely dropped. That's because a sound source vibrates and that pushes the air and transfers the vibration to you hearing it. But because there's no air in our vacuum, the alarm is vibrating, but it can't transfer that to the microphone. So I'm going to do the reverse now. I'm going to shut this valve and then open this valve So the air's back in now and the microphone's picking up the sound and I can just about hear it as well. So that's been our experiment. We've proved that sound cannot travel in a vacuum. If you are going to replicate this experiment, please have an adult present. Thank you for watching.